Hello guys, how are you? Hope you are doing well. And I brought up with the new chapter, with the new class. And the topics will be new definitely. And in this class, we'll understand the next level of SAP SCM. Alright, so in last class, we understand about the employee group and employee subgroups. We created employee groups and employee subgroups. So let's see in this class what we'll uh, study and what we'll understand. So again, I'll continue from the, you know, yesterday class, you can say in the last class. And uh, let's see, let's again make the same procedure here. I, I write here SPRO in the command box. I clicked on enter. If you are for, for the first time, you know, if you are watching my this session only, and if you're not aware about the previous classes, please go through my channel and see all these classes because there is a, you know, a playlist where you can find all the classes which, which I have taken already. So you can get all the classes one by one respectively. So if you have not gone through those classes, please go through them because if you're not, if you have not gone through those classes, you'll not be able to understand what I'm going to teach you in this class, right? So again, I, again, I'll start with us same where I left so I put it here uh, SPRO in the command box here this is the command box clicked on enter and this place this page came right so now I'll click on SAP reference IMG I clicked on it because we are creating enterprise structure so I'll I'll click on it okay I expanded in last class uh, we did the definition in definition we did all the things now I'll click on assignment I clicked on assignment. I expanded this option. Now I'll go in human resource management option. Okay. I'll I'll now I'll click on assignment of personal area to company code. Let's click on it. Now you can see here change view assignment of personal area to company code overview so here either i can click on change or display so let's click on display you can see here how it looks like change view and display view so suppose if you're not finding new entries suppose your session is locked right if you got some error so this is the this is what this is this is what where you can create new session right so i clicked on it to create new session i clicked on it i in command box i put sm12 to create a new session you can go in command box and you can write sm12 and after that you can click enter okay now this page page will come from where you can delete this option username you can delete here from here you will keep 100 as it is and you can click enter simply. You will get this right just because of that you are not able to see all the pictures clear pictures. I will show you what was the problem in the last page. So I select all. I click, I click on delete. Yes. Okay. I close the window. Again I will refresh if anything left. No there is nothing left. So now again I will go back again go back now again i follow the same process s p r o click enter i i'll click on click on sap reference img i'll click on enterprise structure click on assignment click on human resource management and clicking on assignment of personal area area to company code i clicked on it okay so what personal area you created you can go in position option here so personal area fill out all the required entry fields i clicked on position okay it is already there
okay so in last i i'll show you in last class for delhi we created for delhi we created 4 time 9 and for uttarakhand we created 1989 and for bangalore we created 1999 so we will have to search all these personal areas personal areas is nothing but the locations so let's see here let's find 4 time 9 1989 and 1999 so 1989 we can find here 1999 is also there so let's make it one by one company code now it is asking put the company code here so what company code you'll put here so company code will be pw03 right so we are creating our own company here all right to for an example so now we'll make here pw03 pw03 again company name is P W zero three. No result. Yeah. Now we'll create here P W no, it should be showing here. Yes, forty. For India country code, country it is asking country code. For obviously we are in India, so for India there is a company code which is forty. So we'll select forty. Okay. I'll again. I'll put for Bangalore location P W zero Let's do one thing.
actually we are going a step ahead so let's go back let's cross it okay we are going ahead so to create the company let's click on definition then click on financial accounting and then click on third option edit copy delete check company code right let's click on it and again i clicked on edit company code data and now we can put here the entries right so here you can find the numbers if you can clicking on position you can check what is the available number and alphabet or digits because company code should be in alphabet in numeric or alphabet numeric and numeric and alphabet right in four digits in four alphabets you can say so you can't code like you can see here for an example four four ka combination is already there right so what we decided to make the company code so pw03 will be our company code so let's make a an, an entry here we create we can click on new entries put company code here pw03 and company name is pw private limited again city what city is there we can make any city here so city let's make um, delhi country india so for india it's i n you can see here i n like selected here currency in currency you can make here for indian currency you can choose Indian rupees INR is there INR so we clicked language is what English so for English language EN okay and I clicked on save button here I can click EN country sorry uh, country IN and reason is what uh, Delhi 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 Thirty. Reason is thirty. Country I N. Okay. We already put it here on the, the last page, so we'll here only we'll put the these two entries, country and reason, and click on this option, continue option, and click on save. Now data is saved. We'll go back. We see. We'll see here. PW zero three pro PW private limited is already now now exist right. So now we'll go back. Now we created the company here. You can make a note of these. You can make every note of every process because once you do the practice and you know doing the things like obviously it will be remembered. But after some time you'll forget everything. So make sure whatever you are doing on this system, please make sure to make a note so that you and uh, every step should be written so that once you forget anything, you can link. You can write that uh, note and read that note, and you can link, and you can proceed respectively. So now we'll do the assignments here. After this option, uh, 
okay so now i'll go back and we'll click on enterprise in definition what we did you already have seen so let's click on now we'll do the assignments right so i clicked on assignment option i clicked on just a second let's see what is in it assign company code to company assign company code to credit control area assign business area to you know consolidation business area assign company code to financial management area assign profit center to company code it is it's not our part it's not hr part okay so let's leave this and uh, in assignment we'll go in human resource management option we'll go in assignment of personal area to company code and again we'll do assignment employee sub group to employee group and then we'll do validity period for organizational assignment we'll do all three processes in this class only so let's make it assignment of personal area to company code we'll do here okay so now we can find position yeah so we did we, we got this so 1989 for uh, uh, uttarakhand location company code is p W zero three, yeah, and P W zero three and forty. Okay, this cent is already there. So again, we'll do for this P W zero three and forty. Okay, and now again four time nine. Company code is P W zero three. You can see uh, typing P W zero three P W private limited, Delhi I N R. मतलब all information are there what we did in last entry forty for country grouping yes. Personal another entry. done okay so now you can see the information now you will see personal area personal area like four time nine let's check you can see it is here it is proper details are there again we'll check and that personal area details 1989 you can check it around yeah it is there and 1999 it is already there yeah so everything you we found so we made the we created the company company code and uh, we did the assignment okay uh, the uh, assignment of uh, personal area to company code right so i think you might have understand let's do the next process now will what will do we will do assignment employee sub group to employee group let's click on it okay let's click on new entry let's put here colon inactive let's make it first semicolon active employee
actually what happened is like uh, because when we were creating employee sub group employee group because all characters were there so we leave that part and i made you understood by that uh, that key uh, i already have made and this is how you will have to do and uh, we created employee sub group right so for employee sub group we given the number 25 and 28 but employee group that is already connected with something else right so this is the problem problem we are facing here we'll have to check again and we'll have to create because we'll have to do that process again until we are not doing that it will be stucking because we will not able to do it properly because you will not be able to understand it properly actually mm, 03 okay brazil ukraine india is where denmark this is not match, matching with this so for this we will have to create that okay because here everything is required because there is a you know assignment as well like country assignment for employee group to some employee sub sub group so employee group sh should be created then only will create you know assign the employee sub group along with that so for which uh, what shall we do because all the characters are used so in that case what of we are what we are left with what option position employee group employee sub group hmm And things there is this So what we can do is like let's leave this option like uh, we can we can you know do the assignment of country assignment for employee sub group to employee sub employee group to employee sub group we'll do this part later on like let me find what i can do you know for this in the in this key, case in such situations so let's go back so we'll skip this this part this part only because we did assignment of personal area to company code and uh, assignment employee sub group to employee group we'll leave this part we'll do in next class maybe i'll try to find the way how it 
will be you know done in the better way and let's make it this option let's validate period for organizational assignment let's make it okay so let's click on it i clicked on it and this is already in expanded mode so activate switch for validity period will leave this part activate switch for validity period for work contract will this part as well the the main the, the important part which will do in this session is define validity period for personal area define validity period for personal sub area define validity period for employee group and define validity period for employee sub groups will will do this part so let's make this define validity period for personal area i clicked on it now i can see personal area personal area text and we'll have to define the validity period here all right so let's find what we did in the last in the in the this class so for personal area let's let's find the position in through the position let's find it personal area for delhi location we did four time nine so let's find personal area i think this we can see after doing doing that part but but i told you that let's leave this part and we'll do in next class so i think the as i said initially that that will create problem in further classes so we'll have to shout out that problem only because without doing that will be bad to do anything because these all are the you know inter, these all things are interrelated with each other okay so this is the process so how we can break how we can break the process so to that you know to complete that process we'll have to work on that on it so i think to for today let's leave this class here only and from last class what i'll do is i'll find the solution like what we'll do is from from here we are stucking assign employee group to employee sub group right so this is the main problem where we are getting problem and this is the this is the main thing which is creating problem for, for us so let's find the let me find the solution for it and then we'll come up with the solution only in next class so until i'm coming up with coming up with new video with new class with new chapter please stay tuned and take care